Megan Moore, our champion. This is a ridiculous stat. Megan Moore can do an 11 foot lache. Uh, for reference, that's my max lache right now. I... She can do a lache longer than the number of years she's been alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's and impressive. She, she put that skill to use. You can see how quickly she's gone through, still with plenty of time left. It's really just going to come down to, is she going to beat the obstacle or not? Because time-wise, she's good on driver's Time's looking head. good. She has to reach up. Good under grab. Going to do a match and pop. Yes. And then a Pulling quick reach. through, dismounting right oh, away. Skipping, skipping the last wheel. 38.22 seconds. That last time overall. Skipping that last one gave her that time. I wasn't sure it was going to be a close one between her in our first place, but, oh, 38.22, beating out Kinsey Carbon by almost two full seconds. How did she yep. find that time? That was I don't impressive. Even know. That was crazy. But, hey, that's why she's the world champion. It all comes down to Megan's run. And, again, Megan is the world champion. So, definitely... If I were Kate, I'd be a little nervous right now. Climbing up this pole really fast, eyeing up that dismount already. Gets right to it. Running right through. Very smooth. Just a quick swing right over. Gonna pop right over here. Oh, it just oh, misses. misses it. It's and good. it's not so much, I'm not so much worried about falling on the obstacles at this rate. It's more so the fact that these extra swings can absolutely ruin your chances at the top four. You can have one of them, one of those moments, but anything more than that could be very detrimental to your chances. Oh, she's lined up this kaleidoscope. What a great no grab. Moving through that minute left. On the one boats. The fastest, one of the fastest up to the boats. But I'm not sure which way she's trying to swing. I think she finally committed to a direction, and there we have it. Has some great wrist flexibility there. Absolutely. She's going for the dismount. Now has to do this in under a minute 59, which and she, she does. She wins today in the Premier Series, but she's going for a full clear. She's already gotten one buzzer on the placement course with the fastest time we've seen to that point. Oh, she gets the grab. Can she grab that ring? She does. She has oh, plenty of time so left. Buzzed. Another buzzer. Using that big pop. Oh, going to have to really pull herself up. And she grabs it. Oh, right to the dismount. On. And we have and she clears. our first female clear on the challenge course in the Premier Series, Megan Moore. Taking home the fastest time on the placement course so far. And a buzzer on the challenge course locking in first place and sweeping the competition. What a run. Clutch. She knew what she had to do last runner. That's what that's she earned it with the placement, getting first in the placement. She knew what she had to do. And she executed perfectly. I just want to spotlight what's on the replay right now. That grab from the second ring up to that spinning disc is so high. It, takes it is so, massive. And, and you're coming up at such a weird angle that you have to really force yourself up there. It's such an impressive move for these athletes to get. Huge congratulations to Megan.